Hello, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. This is the Dark Trilogy. Uh, it's a new mod pack on FTB, and it's 1.7.10 version of Minecraft. And this is actually a pretty fun little mod pack. Um, we don't have a lot of official 1.7 mod packs out yet for FTB. A few unofficial ones. This is one of the, or third party ones, I should say. Not necessarily official, but all right. Let's get started anyway. Um, dark trilogy. Dark world. Created survival. We'll get in this dark world here too for a seed. If you guys want to create the same world, that looks good. And get started. So the dark trilogy basically the three parts to the trilogy are the tech side of things the magic side of things and then the natural world side of things and he's formed the dark trilogy I don't know why it's dark but whatever dark trilogy so we'll call it dark world and go with the old dark theme and it's takes a little while. I got a kind of a slow computer, I guess, for running a mod pack like this. But it seems like nowadays all these mod packs are just slow. Unless you get a really simple one. So, be a little bit slow. Okay. And we seem to be in a jungle. And the frame rate seems to be really low. There we go. Junk, junk, junk. Alright. Yeah, jungle. Good place for trees. But uh, I don't know if we really want to build our base out here. And this, There's a little bit of something there on the map. Kind of in ooh, this direction. Can we get down easily or no? <laughs> I guess right here. Okay, this will work. Ah, well, let's go take a look around. Let's see what we got. Sand. So I think the first priority is we're going to have to find somewhere that we like to uh, build our base, our headquarters. That's interesting. Amaranth. Oh, slow. Okay. So yeah, I'm not going to like really collect any resources or anything yet find where we're going to situate ourselves. Otherwise the inventory is just going to fill up. We're not going to have any room to carry anything else. So, what's that? Is that nutmeg? Oh. Nutmeg, yeah. Nope. We've got a gourd garden here. Get a few things to start off with. forest over here. Maybe. I don't know. Here. Bring up the map. Take a look. So, when you're in the map mode like this, full screen map mode, you can move the cursor around and you see at the bottom it tells you what your what biome it is. So this is jungle over here. And then this is Magical Forest over here. Extreme Hills. That'll be kind of nice. We can find some uh, emeralds down there. And the Magical Forest, I think, is pretty much Thomcraft. And we're probably going to want to get into some Thomcraft and whatnot. So, that might be a good place to build our base, actually. Hmm. Let's go over to 
explore a bit more. Oh, so slow. Carrying all those new chunks. Doop, 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 doop. There's a beehive. Forestry. But we don't have the, what we need to harvest that yet. Got some uh, mossy cobblestone, which would be nice for, and I don't know how it's growing on it. I guess mossy is. Good, uh, it's like potting soil for the <laughs> vegetables or something. Who knows? That's an interesting mushroom. Bish room. Ooh, raspberry. Nothing there yet, though. I think those berries are going to be handy for food. What's that over there? Forest, jungle, There's a lot of jungle around. Scrubland. Hmm. Probably want to go a little bit more north. I think right in here would be kind of a nice spot for our base. Hello, Mr. Cow. Uh oh. Oh, I knocked his head off. That's nice. Yeah, you go ahead and die and we'll deal with you. And lag again. Alright, first kill. We didn't even need a sword. So, oh, I think I should have took that bush. I'm not going to remember where that other bush was. I'm going to take these. Oh, slow. Something over there. That fruit tree. Anyway, <coughs> I'm not going to worry about it too much yet. right in here. We're not too far from the extreme hills. That would be good for mining. A lot of mining down there. Is that? Yeah, oh, okay. I know what the kind of spider that is then. <laughs> Stupid jungle spiders. Actually, we've got some blueberry over here as well. This will be handy in case we get hungry. Oh, I didn't want to read that book. This book, I don't know, pretty useless if you ask me. They start you off with it and I never read it. It's not very useful. There's a lot of bushes. Hmm. Ooh. Dark totem there. Okay, I think kinda like right in here maybe. here. Keep us company. Ok, 
Okay. Hello. Get some of this stuff. All right. This is the oak tree. Oh, all right. Let's get some wood started here. thing well let's go ahead and make an axe and a big axe um, binding so and just put parts in here like so I guess, well, I don't know. I'm going to assume you guys are familiar with uh, Tinker's Construct, at least at a basic level. So, I'm not going to really go into explaining that. There's a lot of good videos out there to explain how it works. So, I don't think it's really necessary to go into a lot of detail. There's probably new mods and stuff, the ones that have changed and so forth from what you guys might be familiar with, like uh, Buildcraft. That's changed a lot since the older versions that most people are probably familiar with. And I'll go into some detail explaining some of that when we get into that and so forth. But Tinker's Construct, I think most people played Tinker's Construct. So I don't think I need to really cover that too much. All right. Do an axe and I need a stick. So oh, I need a part pattern for that too, then, don't I? Trying to minimize my wooden tools. I don't want any wooden tools because they're pretty much useless. But you need get stone. That's why I made the wooden pickaxe, but everything else went making the stone. So yeah, I need a stick. Why am I putting it in here? I don't need it in there. Alright. Stick! That's what I need. Yeah, it's starting to get dark. 
<laughs> Taking a little bit too long. These trees, these big trees like this, are going to be hard to chop down, so... That's why I'm kind of reluctant to start chopping these things down. Because you get a lot of wood stuck up in the tops, and then you can't chop it down. Once you get a better axe, I'm not going to worry about it so much, but... Because I'll just take the whole tree down. But that's a little ways off still. organized yet. This is gonna get better. <laughs> I do know what I'm doing, trust me. Um, it's just always the first night, it's always a little tough for me. Alright, furnace. Stick that there. Let's make some charcoal. Two pieces of wood should make three pieces of charcoal. Didn't know that, now you know. And we can make some torches then. Okay. So, starting out, we're not going to do too, not going to get anything real fancy yet, um, as far as technology goes and all that. Which one we're going to start with, we're probably going to need some farms and stuff. So we'll do farms, maybe gather some farm animals together, some cows and chickens, pen them up whatnot, and then we'll probably start working on the technology. We'll kind of work a little bit of everything, but I think technology is where we're going to start initially, do a lot of the... <coughs> um, progress forward to magic. I mean, Thomcraft takes a long time to research everything, so and there's not a lot of useful stuff early on. Gets pretty involved. Same thing with uh, blood magic. You gotta build that altar up, and it takes a long time to get all those runes that you need. So there's the. Um, Tanya stuff. Um, we might do some of that. I don't know how useful all that stuff is. I haven't found it to be all that greatly useful. There's some iron. Need some of that. 
So, once we get the, a lot of the technology settled in, we'll get into doing some of the other things. Um, the forestry, the bees, I don't know, you guys really... I don't know if we should, I guess we could probably get into the bees. I don't know how much you guys would be interested in that. It's something people cover a lot in YouTube videos, so... Oh wow, look at that on the map. Right there. Big hole. Very interesting. But I didn't see anything on the surface, I don't think. I don't know what that is. <clears throat> so yeah, this is kind of... <laughs> Probably kind of a boring video. Not to be that interesting talking about stuff. That'll get a lot more interesting once we actually get doing stuff. It's still nighttime. And we can't really make any more charcoal, but we've got four eight charcoal in there. Piece of oak. Turn these into sticks. Make some more torches. So, and look at the technology. Um, we have like the extra utility stuff, so there's like the ender quarry, which is really nice. But if you look at the recipe for this thing, <laughs> it's, um, yeah, you're gonna need Billcraft. You need uh, IC2, thermal expansion, computer craft, uh, MFR, this stuff. Remain in motion. I have no idea what remain in motion is. So that's going to be kind of a late game thing, I think. I mean, you need this Ethereum. Not that easy to come by. You're gonna need diamonds. Actually, if we look at this thing, we got one, two diamonds for those. Three, four. Oh, slow down. Five. This is applied energistics. Need that as well. That's five diamonds so far. Um, each one of these takes four, so that's sixteen. If you look at this, you get a grind up a diamond to make diamond dust, that's four. Get nine to make one of these things, four, so that's sixteen. That's a thing special, so sixteen diamonds for this. 22. So we're looking at 22 diamonds, I guess. As well as other things, like slime. Nine slime balls, I guess. <laughs> Big slime balls. These gourds. This doesn't look so bad. So. Yeah. That's gonna be late game. Which is where it should be. I mean, it's really powerful, so... But, if we're on a... So we want to make a pulverizer. We notice that, um... Not too bad, except for this. We need steel. Or refined iron. There it is. Refined iron. So we can't really get into thermal expansion without steel. Um, there's actually, when you'll make steel, there's... Railcraft steel. Right there. Which you need a blast furnace for. Blaster blast. Blast furnace, which takes all the stuff from the nether. Not the easiest way to go. Tink's 
Matrix deal. Craft. Ooh. for the refined iron. Oh, sorry. Go back for a sec. So I'm losing my D. It's an IC2 blast furnace. This thing's kind of expensive. Build as well. And operate. You need like a lot of other stuff as well. But there's also Tinker Steelworks in here. Right there. We'll make one of these. As explained, this is probably going to be the easiest way to make steel. So we're going to go this way. That. So we're going to need lots of uh, seared stone and clay to get into that. So it's, yeah, the technology stuff's a little ways off. Let's get out of here now. Started. Getting those animals together would be a good first step. I'm gonna need to build some pens. I think over here, what biome is this? Oh! Yeah, this is... <laughs> it's going to be a little bit of work. I don't know, it's probably not going to be that interesting to watch. So, what I'm going to do for next episode... I'll work on the stuff off camera. I'll try and get some pens and stuff. Get some kind of basic something going on. Maybe use the... Uh, oh, there's some zombie flesh. Get some basic... Maybe use some of this marble to decorate with. And, uh, yeah, I'll have a base and maybe some pens. Probably maybe a farm. Maybe I'll wait to 
do the farm on camera. I don't know. And we'll pick it up from there. So, until next time, I'll see you later.